So here's another example, right? So we're saying 3E8. The first step is you, first of all, um, identify the equivalent decimal symbols associated with these hex symbols you're working with. So 3 is 3, E is 14, 8 is 8. And then you identify the placeholders here, right? The powers of 16 you're working with. 16 to power 0. 16 to power 1. 16 to power 2. You evaluate, you evaluate the powers of 16, right? So essentially, you're, you're getting the result of what is 16 to power 0? It's 1. 16 to power 1 is 16. 16 to power 2 is, I don't know. Let's use the calculator, right? This is what we're doing. Um, no, not 16 times 2, 16 times 16. 256. Okay. So do this stepwise, it makes it makes more sense if you do it stepwise. So you get the symbols and then you get the powers of 16, evaluate the powers of 16, and then multiply the derived decimal equivalence of the hex symbols with the evaluated powers of 16. Three times 256, 14 times 16, eight times one. And then you add these up. 768 plus 224 plus 8, right? And then you get 1,000. So what we're saying is 3E8 base 16 is equal to 1,000 base 10. You understand this? I mean, it's, it's, not, it's, not that, um, it's, not that, it's not that hard. I mean, so <clears throat> a tricky thing is uh, people normally get confused when you have a situation where somebody tells you, uh, let's convert 823 base 16 to 823 base 16 to binary, right? Some people get confused with this. They'll think it's still 823, right? Because, because, because it turns out that there are certain symbols, certain hex symbols that are shared with the decimal notation, right? You have to do this stepwise. Step one, get the equivalent symbols, right? So if we have 823 hexadecimal, <clears throat> 823, what we do is we get the equivalent, equivalent decimal symbols, which are still going to be eight, two, and three, right? Get equivalent decimals, right? So you get the equivalent decimals, what do you do? You identify powers of 16, right? From right to left, 16 power zero. 16 power one, and 16 power two, right? right? Uh, so you get, you get the result of 16 to power zero, 16 to the power one, we know that 16 to the power zero is one. Uh, 16 to the power one is 16. Um, 16 to the power two is 256, right? Evaluate powers of 16. One, step two. This is like we are, we are in, it's retarded. I don't know why we're doing this. Many people are already bored here. Okay. And then what you do next is you multiply, multiply decimal equivalent symbols with hours of 16. In this step, all we are doing is we are saying 256 times 8, 16 times 2, 1 times 3. Then step four, step five rather, and or product. You get the sum of product, right? Um, and essentially you just say this plus this plus this. Then you get that. So here's the thing, 823 base 16 is equal to 2083 base 10, right? 
And of course, I mean, if you have uh, a calculator, I guess you could, uh, I don't know if we have A23, um, and then you convert it to equivalent decimal number or something, right? 